So, now we are just going to discuss the how to create the user defined threads, how we are going to write the how, how we are going to create the user defined threads in this case. Like suppose when any class which you are writing, so mainly first for the user defined threads. two processes are there by using which we can create the threads. For the user defined threads, there are mainly two processes are there by using which we can create the threads. The number one again is by extending, by extending, what is that by extending java dot lang dot thread class. Java dot lang dot which one now runnable right. So, one thread class which you can write or one type of thread which you can create that is on the basis of which one now you can create on the basis of this thread class by extending the thread class you can write it down right. The second thing which it is there you which you can do is java dot lang dot runnable interface which is available here right. So, this is the runnable interface. By using this runnable interface, we can perform the things, we can perform the ports like that, we can perform the other things inside this. So, we can write the thread class or we can write or we can create our own thread. One is by extending the thread class and second one is the by implementing runnable in these cases, right. Okay. The first thing is now when we are going to write or when we are going to uh, create our own threads. So, first we will see what all the different user defined processes are there in that like what is that user defined processes are there in this now. First now when you are writing any class, suppose you are writing a class, the class name is you are writing hello, suppose hello thread is the name of your class right. So, whenever first you are writing any kind of thread, so that must extend first initially it is extending which one now thread class it is extending. Immediate after extending the thread class when we are writing all that and when it is extending the thread class. The first point which is there if required if required then declare some instance variable if required then declare some instance variables. Second important point is if required then declare some instance variable. Second important point write down some constructors ok. And third important thing is invoke the invoke the super class constructor super class constructor by using what now? Somehow you have to invoke from which class now? From thread class you have to invoke the super class constructor right. After invoking the super class constructor the fourth next one which we are writing is the one like invoke super class constructor. After that each thread must be started we must have to start each thread because till the time you are not starting the thread that threads will not come into the processing that will not start doing the processing of that right. So, this is the basic steps whenever you are writing any thread whenever you are doing like this anything. So, that time you must have to do the following things in order to create or in order to write a thread right. So, I will do one thing I will write one example and I will explain it how to create your own threads. 